Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. We're at Superbooth in Berlin. I'm with Giovanni from Frap Tools. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Meet you. So Kunzer is the new, yeah, the new exactly. filter. Tell us a little bit more about this then. Yeah, so uh, it consists of uh, four multi-mode uh, state variable filters that you can use independently or combine it through a series of semi-normalization. Now each filter has a low pass, high pass and band pass outputs, uh, 12B per octave slope with a selectable slope for the low pass filter only. And um, you have uh, controls over the um, VCA input, you can add a bit of kick to saturate the circuit. And you also have controls over the resonance, uh, the Q level. But most importantly, this is where we focused the most, the character circuit, which basically controls uh, the flavor of the saturation and basically the behavior of the filter when the signal overloads it. So you can have like a soft clip that uh, we developed uh, uh, with the quad stereo channel or we can remove the, with, well, with any module of the CGM family and then you can remove the soft clip and let the overload signal uh, fill up the circuit and make it scream and make it resonate. And uh, really every filter is the same and you can choose which one to route to an analog mixing stage. So you can combine them into couples of like one plus two or two, uh, three plus four and use it like as a dual stereo kind of filter or you can combine all the filter together and process the single audio a single audio source through uh, the four of them and uh, through this series of semi normalization over these four key parameters here that are the input VCA the uh, input signal that can feed every filter to the left of the input that you patch the volt per octave signals and the ping control which basically is like an integrator that opens the uh, the frequency and the cutoff frequency and then closes it down with a custom tail that can affect also through the switch the VCA and basically through this semi-normalization you can also use it like as a let's say chord kind of thing by setting the four filters to self oscillation and fine tune them through this knob here as four sine wave oscillators and use a single uh, volt per octave signal to transpose all of them or you can use four independent volt per octave signals and use the four filters as four sine waves I mean these are the most extreme examples Wow, sounds incredibly comprehensive. Yeah, thank I'd you. I'd say this was be the only filter you'd ever need, except this is modular synthesis we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. So how soon will this be available? Uh, it's going to be available at the end of May. Yes. And um, basically the production already started. And what sort of price will it be? It's going to be 840 euros plus VAT. Lovely. Thank you so much, Giovanni. It's My great pleasure. to meet you.